Hoka has recently released two shoes that will get you confused as to which one you should get. The Cielo X1 or the Skyward X. In this video, I want to give you some information that might help you make that decision. All our performance, all our comfort, or maybe one of these does both quite well. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to be right at the end of the video so you guys can hear the cool, cool stuff that's coming out of my mouth. My name is Aubrey, I'm a runner, and I'm good with being a me. <laughs> That's okay. Do you want a picture with me as well? <laughs> <laughs> I love what I do. <laughs> this kind lady is looking after this whole station. There's some wildlife, wildflowers, does an amazing job. I love that. Hey, before we get on to the reviews and the comparisons, catch me on Instagram, Aubrey.running. Definitely look me up, follow me on there. It'd be really good to have you. So like I said, the Skyward X versus the Cielo X1. You probably want to decide which one you want to get. So I'm going to compare them. Let's start with some objective stats. The weight. This one wins because it's 275 grams versus 333 grams. I wear a nine and a half UK, by the way. In terms of the price, again, 200 and 25 pounds versus 250. I still think they're both expensive, but this is gonna be your cheaper one. The stack heights. This one is mammoth. 48 at the back, 43 at the front, giving you a five mil drop. And I like that, that it's a small drop because it means you're still getting a lot of that comfort even at the forefoot versus 39 at the back and 32 at the front is seven mil drop. Pacey, I like it. Okay, so let's start with the comparison. I'm gonna tell you some pluses and minuses of both shoes. Let's start with the Cielo X1. Here are the pluses. The stack height in the Skyward X make it race illegal. It's over 40 mil, this is 39. The other thing is, this bad boy is fast. This is a speed shoe. The Skyward X is not designed for pace or speed. Thirdly, the look. When you look at the, I'm not talking about colorways, by the way, just the design. This is a much better looking shoe, in my opinion, in comparison to the Skyward X. And just a little more about the look. This thing is aesthetic. I like the fact that you can actually see the carbon plate make an appearance in the midsole on the inside as well as the outside. That's that part there. I love, it just looks different. I love the look that they've put on it. I love the different colorways. Aesthetically, this definitely gets the win. Lastly, a lot of YouTubers, reviewers have criticized these laces. This is more your traditional kind of lacing system as well as laces. This to me is what I prefer. So I prefer the laces of the Cielo X1 over the Skyward X. One of the pluses of the Skyward X over the Cielo X1 well, I have to say you start with the comfort, the cushioning in this midsole with that Peeba foam as well as the super critical EV at the bottom, 48 millimeter stack. The comfort is simply unmatched by this shoe. The second thing, let's take that theme of comfort to the upper. It's plush. There is padding within this upper that this yellow X1 simply can't give you. And for this next bit, I have to get close. It's the heel counter. That heel counter there versus this one, I have to say, what they've done in here and giving you this thin type of shape over heel makes it easy putting this shoe on as well as taking it off. But the main point is the padding. I mentioned before about the plushiness, you feel that here. I love the structure that this gives you. It's not really tuned for performance for race day, but I prefer this as a heel versus that of the Cielo X1. Okay, so whilst I think Hoka has done an amazing job with these running shoes, they're not without their fault. So let's talk about the few minuses, starting with the Cielo X1. The price, 250 pounds in my opinion is way too much for people to afford running shoes just like that. The second thing I don't like, I think could be improved, is the tongue. It's got a very stretchy texture to it that if you don't lay it over the top of your foot properly, it can bunch up. So when you lace them down, it does increase that pressure and therefore can get uncomfortable and sometimes painful if you don't lace it down properly. The last thing, 
the size of the shoe. It just looks big. And other running shoes from different brands, just the appearance of it. Don't get me wrong. I like the look of it, but it just looks overly big. And it might not be a preference for a lot of people. Now, I've got two specific minuses for the Skywood X. The first one, it's race illegal, meaning over 40 mil. So if you're hoping to podium or win races, you can't do it in this shoe. Now, if you're a runner like me, <laughs> unless of course you're running by yourself, you're never going to be number one, two or three. So it might not be that big of a deal for average runners like us, especially for the advantages that this shoe brings, i.e. keeping your legs fresh, the comfort and the cushioning. The second thing that I think is actually a big, big minus, again, is the price. Now, whilst it's cheaper than the Cielo X1, 225 for what I think is a premium daily trainer. It's got premium features, specs. 225 still seems quite a lot. Just my opinion. The whole purpose of these videos is to kind of give you all the information to help you make a personal decision. But it's wrong of me to give you all of that and then not tell you what I think is the better shoe of these two. Now, the premise is simple. Put the cost aside. This shoe can go fast and slow. This shoe does slow and easy very well, but can't go fast. You see where I'm going with this? In my opinion, between these two shoes, it's simple. That's the shoe you should get. The Cielo X1. That's my choice. Thank you guys for watching the video. It means a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to aim for 15,000. Um, give us your honest opinions about the Cielo X1, Skyward X. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, Dad, move the camera down, move the camera down. Before you think I'm just a kid. Come on, come on, bring it up, bring it up. I've got some running shoes on, on. Uh, uh, on. Uh, okay, okay, let's continue. If you've enjoyed the video, please tell us. We'll create some more for you guys, just for the sake of our beautiful followers out there. And maybe even a few collaborations with my man Kafuzi, possibly Believe in the Run. Emily, Run Like Keller, we recently did a video with her. Um, that was very, very, very fun. Make sure you check out the part where I make an appearance refer referring to Pokemon cards. Very important thing in a child like mine's life. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day as you watch this. And make sure you put in that week. <laughs>